This project is a sexy shad jerk bait. First thing I'm gonna do is mix some thinner and some opaque white. Stir it. And start applying the paint. The light coat on the sides and the top. Add some more to the bottom. I just realized that I didn't cover the bill while I started painting, so I'll need to probably clean that up, retape, and just uh, repaint the, the edges of where the bill should not be painted. So I'll dry it off a little bit. And the next thing I'll start doing here is uh, I'll put a mesh on there to kind of simulate some scales. The scales will have like a white border to them to whatever color I add, which is going to be a green for the back. Takes a number of alligator clips to make sure that the netting is tight to the lure. Also make a little bit of adjustment just to make sure that all the netting is secured to the lure. Now I'll get some olive green ink and mix that in. It's pretty runny as it is, so I won't add any thinner to it. And just begin adding it to the back of the lure. The thing about the inks is it goes through pretty quickly, through the airbrush pretty quickly, so you'll, you'll want to uh, probably add more. Make sure it's a good solid coat and add it more down the sides just to have it blend down into the white. If you overspray with it, it'll tend to get up underneath your uh, netting, so you got to be careful. Add it in thin, thin layers. I'm going to make the back of this lure a little bit darker, so. I'm going to take a very, very small amount, I'm using a toothpick, just grabbing a small amount of black and adding it to that olive green that we initially painted the back with, just to darken it up a little bit. I'm going to add the stripe down the side of the lure. I'm going with a yellow, opaque yellow. I just made up a stencil that would work for uh, the shape that I wanted. I'm just going lightly over the, the stencil with the yellow. In my experience, if you blast it onto the stencil, it ends up spraying out underneath the stencil and making a mess, so I'm just trying to go lightly over and over to get the desired shape. Make sure everything's dry before I go on to the other side.
I'll keep on adjusting and checking the other side just to see if I can't make sure that this uh, design is about the same on both sides. I'll thin out the yellow just a little bit and stir. Some folks can freehand this line, but I don't have faith in my freehand, so I create the stencil to, to get it more accurate. Make sure that thing is all dry before I go and take, and take off the netting. And there we go. Time for some finishing touches. We're gonna add the, it's kind of like a shad dot, but it's more shaped like a, maybe a little gill area, maybe on a bluegill or such, but I have a little template that uh, I have on there that I'll just throw some black on there just to bring it out. And dry it off before I go work on the other side. Like the stripe, I gotta make sure that it's in the same area that it is on the other side. Darkening the eye area. It helps the eyes when you put them in stand out a little more. Now we'll just add the eyes. Take a toothpick and add a little bit of super glue to make sure the eyes stay in there. And use a knife to take the eye off the paper and put it on the lure. And I'll just clean it up a little bit and it's done. Thanks for watching.